We're now going to demonstrate the next exercise and level one, which is the 016 by 022 nitinol arch wire. This is uh, the wire we go to after the 020 stainless steel wire, and you have completed whatever actions you were wanting to complete with that wire. Now, I want to uh, look at the instruments we're going to use in uh, this exercise. We are going to have a, a Weingart plier and again we'll have the hook tip math out and the flat tip math out needle holders. We'll have the distal end cutter and the heavy, um, the heavy wire cutter. As far as materials, we just need to know 016 by 022 upper and lower nitinol arch wires and glide ties. And to make this exercise, because this is really straightforward, we're just going to put the arch wire in and tie it in, clip the distal ends, and we're done. To make it a little bit more challenging, uh, we want to go ahead and, and do uh, at least one of these arches in uh, figure eight ties. We've already removed the arch wires from the previous exercise, um, and then we've used those arch wires to me measure and cut the upper and lower 016 by 022 nitinol arch wires. So now we're going to just insert those into the type of dot using our wine guard again. So you're just gonna slide through the tubes. And again, that's pretty much the way you do it in the mouth. You just go back to the back with uh, grabbing the distal end of the wire and slip it through the tubes. If the tubes are not lined up, this wire becomes a little bit more difficult to insert. And sometimes you have to even rotate or roll that wire a little bit between the molars in order to get it into the tubes. But again, this is a nitinol wire and it'll make that uh, change. You can get that little bit of twist in it and then it will in turn line those tubes up better so that your, o, your o 016 by 022 stainless steel wire will fit. And that's what this is all about. So once we get the wires in, the upper and lower arches and, and set in the brackets, we're gonna go in and um, place our glide ties and again, you'll get to use a hook tip or a, a flat tip Mathal needle holder for that. And I would just like for you to put one arch in with regular ties and one arch in with uh, figure eights. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a quadrant of figure eights here to get the ball rolling. Again, whenever you're doing these, if you'll just slip it over one, uh, one tie wing and down, and then pull across, and then roll up over the arch wire and catch the, uh, the last tie wing. And just always looks so smooth. Again, down over the tie wings and across. And then you're gonna roll. Catch that at last tie wing. When you get a power arm, you just go over that. Again, pull down, cross on that first, and then rolling up and over is easier, but catching that one tie wing on the, when you're placing it over those first two tie wings, um, that's really the trick is catching that, that tie wing right there then you pull across and then roll up. I, and again, I always go to the tie wing with the hook first. So if it's on the me shield, then we're gonna go to that one usually first. Um, and then you pull down and across and roll up and over. And one more. Down, up, and over. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and tie the rest of the quadrants in. Okay, so we've got all the uh, the ties on and we've got 
figure eight ties on almost everything but you can see in the lower we've got some of the anteriors tied in figure eight some of them are in the posterior areas are just tied in regular and that brings up a point because when you're using this nitinol wire it is the precursor to the stainless steel versions of a 1622 and this wire is much easier to insert through the molar tubes if the molars are not lined up you can actually twist this wire a little bit to get it to insert in both tubes and what it's going to do is line those up so that when you get a stainless steel wire of the same size ready to insert it'll go much easier in the mouth likewise if you've got teeth that this wire doesn't seat well in the bracket slot those are the ones you really want to push in there and put a figure eight tie on because they're the ones that need to move the most so and again the night and all is flexible enough that it'll allow you to do that so you don't have to put a, a figure eight tie on every tooth just you just put it where you need it and where you need it is going to be the places where the wire is not setting in the bracket slot passively all right so then we go in and we'll check again our distal ends and cut the distal ends get those pieces out of there so we're not poking our patient and then just bring your uh, work down for review and that concludes this exercise